All right, so what is good, everybody? This is, of course, your boy, B, Bullet RC, coming to you guys again with yet another video. And as y'all can see, we got a few things in the background because I need a couple examples for today's review. Not only that, we actually brought out the fancy table for this one. The choir stand is still here, but I'm sorry. I just, I just need more space. And listen, y'all read the title. Of course, today's shoe is inside of this box. The Lost and Found Air Jordan 1 or the Chicago Reimagined Pair. This has been a shoe floating around in rumors, leaks, details, just leaking out here and there for so long, and we finally have them in hand. And I'm gonna tell you after shooting all the B-roll and everything, looking at the shoe up close, this shoe right here could well be the best sneaker of 2022. That's just, that's just it. Now let me explain why that is. First off, we get to the box. The top of this box being called the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1, supposed to look worn down. And this top is actually from an AJ1 KO. And the added detail, you see the two sales stickers here that you can actually, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to peel them, but you can, you can feel the edges of it. It's got some texture right there. And the crazy thing is, all those details, that's just the box. We still got more to get to. On the inside, I mean the infamous Receipt and I don't know all the Easter eggs on this tag, but I do know that Sandy Bros is a nod to Sandy Bodecker and his brothers. Now Sandy Bodecker did pass away, and he was the one that originally redesigned the dunk back in 2002 into a Nike SB. From what I read, Sandy Bodecker was the VP of Nike Special Projects, which means a lot of those crazy SBs from back in the day, Sandy Bodecker. Date on this invoice is August 30th, 86, which of course is one year after the Air Jordan 1 release. So these would have been sitting down in this Sandy Bros mom and pop shop. You look in the corner and you find this old dusty Air Jordan 1 box, sales stickers and all. You're like, I want those. And they give you the AJ1 KO top. And then to the paper on the inside of the box, you see Air Jordan 1, but this time it's on sale. There's even one particular ad that says regularly $65, they're now 30 bucks. Could you imagine spending $30 for a pair of lost and found Jordan 1s? <laughs> that would be the day. Then you finally flip open the paper and here they are. After rumors, leaks, info here and there, we can finally just, we can do it. It is time to review these joints right here, man the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1. These right here will be dropping in November, no specific date just yet, and the retail should be 180. At least that's what's being reported. I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually more expensive because the 85 highs back there were 200 retail. Real quick, I'm gonna run through the comparison. I went ahead and took the Taxi Ones because that's a recent release, but not like an 85 or a throwback. It's just a recent Air Jordan 1 retro. I also grabbed the 85 Highs in neutral gray, and then right in the middle, I threw in the Lost and Found Ones, and I did it that way because this shoe is really a mixture of different aspects of the shoes. The overall shape of the shoe does remind me of the newer retros, but the toe does seem slightly, slightly different. Another difference I was able to pick out was that on the tongue, the tag, the Nike Air, you can really notice on the swoosh. It almost looks cartoonish how big the swoosh is on the 85 and the Lost and Founds, but when you jump to the taxi, it does look a lot different. Obviously the 85, the shape on that one is just totally different to this shoe and the taxis. And then the other detail I noticed is that on the ankle collar, the Air Jordan Wings logo on this one is embossed like the 85, not like the taxi. Also the swoosh seems more similar to the 85 than the taxi as well. So those are just some of the comparisons I wanted to throw up so you guys can see exactly what they should look like. Now the official colorway on this shoe on the tag reads Varsity Red Sail Black and Muslin. So it again has that age look, no just pure white on the shoe. Now what makes this reimagined other than taking adaptations from some of the older retros and the newer retros is the vintage treatment that lost and found look like you did find these and they were from back way when as far as the leathers on this shoe go for the red you do have a smooth leather it does feel pretty good once again but the detail i really like is this white crackled leather now this crackled leather is on the toe as well as the mid panels on the shoe and as someone who likes vintage i mean peep the tea salute to my dad he just gave me this i've been waiting to get this tea from my dad for 20 plus years. I finally asked him for it and he gave it to me. So salute to my dad. I'm pretty sure I'll talk about that later. But yeah, as someone who likes vintage, I, this is, I mean, it really don't get too much better than this. And in person, it is definitely noticeable. And I'm interested to see 
what these are gonna look like after a good few wears like my 2015s here you know they're not beat down but i definitely have you know put some miles in this shoe and i've kept them in really good condition but i want to see what these are going to look like after some miles of putting these right here another great detail around the ankle collar you have that black cracking once again if you see the old 85 pairs older pairs of jordan ones a lot of times all of that paint all of that leather is just cracked to oblivion and these have that same vintage cracked effect on them getting into the tongue i talked about the tag before i do like the look of the tag again representing the 85 design and even the tongue itself that kind of yellow orange foam look on the tongue you can see that as well now getting into the guts of these of course it's black on the lining and then the insole is white with that red nike air the soles again having that aged ashy larry outsole on these does not bother me i totally get it and it makes sense with this shoe another detail that i love and i'll be honest i'll probably end up wearing my 2015 chicago's into the dirt before i undies the reimagined joints can y'all imagine that back in 2015 i just walked in the mall at like 11 or 12 p.m and was able to get my size in this shoe for retail i even had people still commenting to this day about how i was saying don't spend 300 or 400 dollars on this shoe way back when listen hindsight is 2020 my bad <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Make sure y'all drop a like on this bid, finesse the bell, and sub up as well. And y'all let me know. I mean, you only gotta tell me if you're copying these. Everyone will be going for this shoe. So good luck once again. If you can't get them for retail, I hope that some way you can get that delayed dub. I am out of here. Much love. Peace. Bend it over, little baby, just arch a lot. Yeah, she karma, but I call that bitch butterscotch. Dog bars, yeah, they chopping that soap a lot. Got my money, then I had to just flip the block. I'm the only one that fucked on that bitch. But I made that hoe just come and just hit the block. Yeah, I pulled up in my car, bitch, I blessed the block. We got shooters that's gonna pull up and extra block. Woo. Woo.